Hey guys, I've been an awesome day. I'm here with another beauty carousel video. This is Rotation 5, and again, I just feel like every time I film this, I'm using a different um, makeup case, but I'm just using my black train case here. I already have it like open and everything. Um, I just switch back and forth just depending on um, convenience and like functionality and stuff. So yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and jump right in. I'm not gonna mention like the super basic stuff that I use every day. Um, just like basic foundations and stuff um, that I've showed you like a million times before. Uh, we're going to get into like the new stuff that I'm switching in and out. I'm using um, for powder. I'm trying out my new Neutrogena Shine Control Powder with Rose Protein Complex. Um, I'm wearing it for a few days now and I'm still not like, super crazy about it. I think it's because it hasn't gotten super, super hot here yet. Um, it's just now starting to warm up a bit. i um, become more spring-like in weather. Um, but I've lived off the packaging, so there's that. Um, I'm using my Wet n Wild Trio in Knock on Wood. I love this pink color here. Um, really, really great. So. Um, I've been wearing that color um, a little bit more lately. It's my, probably my favorite color in this little palette. Um, of course, the same hourglass blush I've been using every day. I honestly have just incorporated that back into my routine, so I took a break for a little while, but I am wearing it today. Um, I've got my new CoverGirl True Blend Foundation. This is in the shade Tawny. Um, see so yeah, I jury is still kind of add on it I'm not sure how I feel about it but I do really like the packaging I like that it has a pump um, super super convenient and it's not like an exact match for me right now um, it's a little bit dark but mixing it with my Revlon powder I can kind of make the perfect shade for me right now I'm in that transitional period before I get like a really dark tan um, I've got my L'Oreal full definition Mascara. This is from the Voluminous line. Um, I'm really liking this so far. I'm wearing it today. Um, and again, like I said, it just gives you really good definition, especially like at the root. Um, and it definitely helps to separate your lashes and make them look really nice. So I'm enjoying that. I have gone back to my Smashbox original primer. This is the Fenty Finish primer. I was using the green version for color correcting and really wasn't too crazy about it. Um, the formula is definitely different. It didn't do a whole lot for my skin. So I went back to this and I'm loving it as always. I am using my Rimmel Scandalized Eyeshadow Stick um, in the color Bulletproof Beige. Um, I went to using this instead of my MAC Paint Pot um, just because I wanted to try out something different and I like never use a Jimbo eyeshadow pencil. But yeah, that's the color right there. Just like a light neutral kind of tannish brown color. Um, got my NARS concealer, of course. Um, I'm also trying out this new e.l.f. Wet Gloss Lash and Brow Clear Mascara. Um, the side is for your brow, so yeah, I'm just wearing this. Um, I just wanted to pay a little bit more attention to my brows lately um, and just kind of help them stay in place and all that good stuff. So yeah, I'm liking this. This works pretty well for that. Uh, let's see, I've got my Rimmel Stay Glossy Lip Gloss and Nonstop Glamour. This is more like on and off with my Milani lipstick and fruit punch, so that's why that's in here. Um, I've got something that I'm wearing today, which is probably faded a little bit. Um, this is my Maybelline Vivid Lipstick and then Fancy Fuchsia, or I'm sorry, Fuchsia Flash actually. And this I pulled out, this is probably the first time I've worn this today in like a year. Um, but as you can see, it's just a nice bright fuchsia color. Um, really nice. It went on really nicely. Um, so yeah, starting to use that again. I've got my Maybelline Falsies in Black Drama, which I really like, as you guys know. Um, this is one of my all-time favorite mascara. So I recently repurchased this after quite a while and went back to using it and all falling in love with it all over again. I've got my NYX blush in natural. I'm wearing this like every once in a blue moon, so I just keep this in here just in case I want to pair it with like um, a more of a berry toned kind of powder blush on top. I've got my Makeup Forever Smoky Extravagant Mascara and my 
Rimmel Exaggerate Lip Liner in East End Snob, which is a pretty mauve pink color. I'm wearing this today. Um, it's just really nice to go over like neutral pink lipsticks. Um, and that's basically it. I'm seeing basic MAC eyeshadows. Um, that I've showed you guys in like every single video of these so yeah I hope you guys enjoy this like I said I'm trying out a lot of new products um that I've recently gotten and so far so good for most of them um but yeah I'm gonna go ahead and go and I'll see you guys in my next video bye